Good evening, everyone. It is mid-September, and I am heading out to road cruise for the night. I'm here with my buddy Eric, and uh, the big target tonight is pygmy rattlesnakes, but so far all we've seen is this guy, a gigantic lubber. Really cool looking little grasshopper though. I'm gonna make sure he gets out of the road and get back to cruising, but uh, yeah. It's really nice and warm today for this time of year, or especially considering how cool it's been recently at least. I can't get over this thing, he's super cool. He's huge too, look at that. Anyways, we're gonna get to cruising and uh, I will let you guys know if we find anything. All right, here is our first snake of the night. Beautiful little neonate copperhead. Look at that guy. Look at that yellow little tail. Beautiful. Yeah, we got a car coming, so we're gonna get him out of the road. Alrighty, well, we're gonna move this little beauty out of the road and keep cruising, but first snake of the night, nice little newborn copperhead. Well, there's Eric with his life or eastern king snake we just cruised. Look at that little beauty. Absolutely amazing. Very nice. We've done very well cruising these guys this fall. I'm hoping we're going to continue to do well as it moves into mid-September. We're getting eaten by mosquitoes though, so we're going to photograph this guy real quick and let him go. All right, busted out the video light for this guy real quick just to give you one more look at him while we're taking photos. And we're going to let him go and get back to it, but beautiful little eastern king snake as our second snake of the night. Really good looking little snake. Tiny, tiny though. Really skinny. Looks like he hasn't had a meal yet. So we're going to let him go and let him get back to it. He's got a lot of fattening up to do if he wants to survive the impending winter. So, Well, we only saw two snakes tonight, but at least one was a king. And uh, actually we saw three. We saw a brown snake that I didn't get any video of because it was rapidly retreating off the road. Uh, but I do have a little bit of a drive home through decent habitat, so if I see anything, I will stop. But if not, I think I might be seeing you guys next time I get out, which will hopefully be either tomorrow or the next day. So uh, if you don't see me again tonight, I will see you next time I get out in the field. Good morning, everyone. It's been a couple of days since you last saw me. Herping has been really inconsistent and largely unproductive recently um, because it's been so wet. So... Uh, we're going to switch up the pattern a little bit today and do some hiking and hopefully be able to turn some snakes up. So uh, we're out here with Richard and I actually have my mom with me today. So we've got a couple of people out looking. Hopefully having more eyes will mean we'll be able to turn up some more snakes. So we're going to get to walking around and I will update you guys as things happen. It's supposed to stay relatively mild today and there's been a lot of rain like I said. So it should be a fairly decent day for this time of year, but we'll see. So we saw a squirrel or a bird voice tree frog, but he kind of dipped away before he could get video. And then Richard spotted this guy. That is a striped mud turtle, I think. And he may or may not be stuck right there, but I can see some striping on his face. So I'm pretty sure that's a striped mud turtle, but he looks like he might actually be stuck right there. So we're going to move him and uh, maybe he'll come out. Yeah, it's kind of out. Looks kind of awkward though. <laughs> All right, well, we moved this guy a little bit so he's no longer hung up on those little root systems right there. So hopefully he'll be able to continue on with his day if he was stuck. But mud turtles are weird. It's hard to tell. Sometimes they get into weird positions perfectly on their own and are capable of getting out of them. So who knows? But we're just going to leave that guy right there and get back to it. Well, there is our first snake of the day. A nice adult cotton mouth stretched out right there. Looks like he just came out of the water. We're going to get some photos real quick, and then we'll get a better look at him. He's kind of looking like he's going to go back in the water, so we'll just leave him to it. But first snake of the day, a nice cotton mouth. All right, guys, here's our next snake of the day. Nice little eastern ribbon snake who's trying to bite. He went flying, so I couldn't get an NC2, but really handsome brick red little ribbon snake. Tend to be a pretty common snake in central Georgia, so we're just gonna get some quick shots of him and let him go. But second snake of the day, nice little ribbon. Very good chance that this won't be the last ribbon snake of the day too. So we're gonna get back to it. All right, dude, you wanna go into the bush? Well, kinda. <laughs> they are good at climbing, but he missed his footing at first. There's our next cotton mouth of the day. 
big guy right by the trail. What's up, dude? He's deep in shed, so not gonna bother him with photos, but very nice, big, healthy cottonmouth just hanging out right here next to that ribbon snake. Three snakes already today, not bad. So there's actually a second cottonmouth right here. You can kind of see him in the bushes. You see him moving around a little bit right there. But the other one, you still see him right there a little bit. But two cottonmouths right here next to each other. So, so this is actually mouse. three cottonmouths. There's one there, and then there's two right there. That's actually two snakes, and I think they might be getting ready to mate. That is super cool. And right there is a brown water snake, a little baby one. It's going to be terrible video since it's so far away, but at least I got a documentation of him. So that's like five snakes right here within a couple yards of each other. Pretty crazy. Wish I could get a better look at that guy, but he's just too far away. So we're just going to leave him. A pretty little skink. Not sure which species this guy is at this size. They're a lot easier to tell apart as adults, but there could be three species of skinks that could have blue tails here. And he's one of those three, but we're just going to call it a skink for now. Really good looking little guy hanging out on this log. So right down there is what looks like a racer. Can't really be sure. We're going to try to get a little closer and see. But I think it's a racer. Let's see if we can get a little bit closer to this guy. Oh yeah. Definitely a racer. He's just chilling though. Look at that guy. Big healthy racer kinked up right here in the sun. All right, we'll just leave him to it. Good sign though, he's starting to rattle his tail a little bit. There's a slider <laughs> right there, and then there's a green tree frog in the bush. Very cool. So these cotton moss from earlier are together now, and they're courting. They're not mating yet, but hopefully that's what's gonna be happening here shortly. They're tangled up doing their thing, but not mating yet. Very cool. You can see there's distinctly two different colored snakes there. That was awesome. That is so awesome. Definitely one of my favorite things, getting to see pit vipers doing their thing in the wild. But we're just gonna leave those two lovebirds to it and go see what else we can turn up. Maybe we'll come by and check on them again later, but that is awesome. That makes my day right there if we don't see anything else. And once again, here's our, I think this was our first snake of the day. Better look at him. Really sharp looking cottonmouth. Definitely the nicest one of the day so far. Hanging out in the same area. And there we go. Richard just spotted a king snake in C2. We're gonna get some pictures and get a better look at him. You can kind of see his face right there. Looks like he's in the shed cycle, but not too deep in shed. Really cool in C2. Nice spot by Richard here. First king of the day. Hopefully not the last, but you never know. Well, that is a big king snake, and it's nice too. Just ever so slightly into shed, you can see the eyes a little bit cloudy. But wow, that is an impressive beast. Stretched out so you can see how big she is next to Richard. That is a very large king snake, especially for one that looks to be a female. Love to see it. And in September, which is a very difficult <laughs> which is a very difficult month to find them. Well, ladies and gentlemen, that is what we wanted to see today. Now we just got to find a rattlesnake. But beautiful, large adult female eastern king snake. Could be a boy, but I think it's a girl. Really beautiful snake, though. We're just going to let her crawl back into her grass and keep hiking. But the day has definitely made at this point, so. There you go. Back into your bushes. Yep, disappeared just like that. All right, let's see what else we can turn up. Beautiful king snake. Here's our next snake of the day, big rat snake, down in the grass right here, also in shed. Just chilling though, we might try to get a photo of him real quick. Here's a new species for the day, just a little eastern narrow mouth toad, but I figured I'd show him. Really cute little guy. Species we see fairly often, but I'm not sure I've ever seen them here before, so kind of interesting, but we're just going to leave them right there. 
But right now we're just kind of walking around in some really good canebrake habitat, hoping to see a rattlesnake or another king snake one. Definitely looks pretty king snakey to me. Yeah. I do too. Little holes. Look at him. Ah oh, man, you love to see it. King snake number two for the day, right there in C2. That is awesome. Just kind of coming out from under this fallen tree right here. This one's a lot deeper in shed than the first one, so we're probably not gonna bother it for any post photos, but very cool. Just gonna leave this one right there, I think. Kinda looks like you. Where is he going? Into that log, it looks like. Yeah. I'm like, where is he going? <laughs> He's going into the tree, that's really cool. All right, well, let's see if we can go for three. September hat trick. I'd still be happy with the timber though. I mean, this is where you would normally expect to see a timber, not not so much a king snake, but around here, you never know. Plenty of kings and timbers, so hopefully we can get one next, but we're gonna keep at it. And right past the king snake, there is a huge copperhead right there, just stretched out, going up in the tree. What on earth? It's always cool to see vipers getting up off the ground like that. Not sure what he's doing up there, if he's hunting or trying to find somewhere to ambush or what, but really cool to see. We're just going to leave him right there though. Beautiful copperhead stretched out, kind of climbing up into this brush pile. That is so cool to see. It's always a treat to see copperheads out in habitat like this as opposed to crossing the road at night. Because, I mean, they're a dime a dozen at night, but they're just so well camouflaged that they're really hard to spot in habitat. So, definitely a good kind of highlight to the day if we don't see anything else but it's still relatively early so we're gonna keep at it for a bit longer so far it has been a very solid day plenty of cotton mouse two king snakes and a big healthy copperhead getting a little arboreal here well that right there is our second striped mud turtle of the day just hanging out on the land this guy's way out in the open nowhere near the water <laughs> at least the other one was kind of adjacent to the water but this guy's acting like a box turtle. Just hanging out here by this brush pile on dry land. Really cool though, to see two of these guys out and about today. Very interesting. But we're just gonna leave him right there. Striped mud turtle number two. Right where the other one's head is now. Mm -hmm. So here's this in shed cotton mouth. Just hanging out still. And then over here, see, oh yeah, it is shedding. These are the two that were mating earlier. They're still hanging out with each other, but one of them is actively shedding really terrible video but you can kind of see really cool and here's this pretty guy one last time nice and out in the open definitely the best looking cottonmouth we've seen today he's got nice vibrant patterning for this area especially so we're just gonna leave him to it though it was nice to get to watch these guys over the course of the day this one is definitely a lot bigger than he looked earlier or it's a different snake i can't really tell but definitely looks similarly patterned to the one we saw earlier so actually, I do think that other one was a new snake because this one looks about the same size as the first one we saw, but he's way back in there. But very nice. Two more cotton mouse in this area this time. All right, everyone. Well, that was a very productive little hike this morning. We did about six miles of hiking and turned up some really cool stuff, including one of the big targets for the day, which was a couple of Eastern King snakes. Uh, really wasn't expecting to see two, wasn't expecting to see one, I was hopeful, but I liked our odds at finding a timber more, and we never did find a timber, so really interesting day in the field, we got to see some really cool stuff, and we're currently making our way home on back roads, so if we see anything, I will stop and let you guys know, but if not, I will probably see you guys next time we get out in the field, which will hopefully be tomorrow, so uh, if I don't see anything on the road on the way home, I will see you guys tomorrow. Well, it's not a snake, but we found something. Very nice, little eastern box turtle on the road. Let me get a picture real quick and then we'll get him out of the road into safety. Not the best looking box turtle, but it's kind of young. And uh, 
this isn't the breeding season, so a lot of the males aren't as colorful as they could be. I'm not sure if this is a boy or a girl. I'm assuming it's a girl. Yeah, it looks like a girl. But we'll just escort her out of the road in the direction she was heading because she is very important to the breeding population. And we don't want her to get hit by a car, so good luck out there. And uh, we're going to get back on the road. It's very good box turtle weather, so we might see a couple more. We'll see.